Welcome to a quick overview of the advanced packaging functionality in Pads Layout. The advanced packaging toolkit allows you to design with bare die components placed on laminate PCBs for chip on board or multi-chip modules with great ease. Bare die information can be captured through text files, GDS2 files, or parametrically via dialog boxes. When designing component packaging, after the bare die is captured, set up multiple wire bond rings for substrate bond pads around the die. Assign bare die pins to different rings. Power and ground pins will be fanned out to assigned rings, while the other signal pins will be assigned to the outer two rings for fan out. Wire bond fan out will be performed to all rings based on the rules you have set up for spacing between pad and wire, going from the die pad to the substrate bond pads. The route wizard can create connections from the bond pads to the BJ pins and auto route all sides or any selected side of the die, and the results can be re reviewed quickly. During routing, any angle of traces will be used to exit bond pads. This allows the trace to exit the bond pads at the odd angle they have been placed, ensuring a good connection and increased manufacturability. The die flag wizard will create copper metallization for power and or ground rings. The user can graphically adjust the location of power rings and how much coverage under the die the copper will occupy. Not only do these copper rings connect the power pins together, but the copper under the die will help dissipate heat away from the die. Another time saver the user will realize is the ability to move substrate bond pads within layout in real time without being forced to modify the symbol of this die. When routing space is at a premium, being able to move the bond pads in real time is a must. The Advanced Packaging Toolkit allows PCB designers to design with bare die with a tool they already know, Pads Layout.